Hello friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and if this is your first time here, welcome to Booked and Busy. Today's video is going to be my March TBR. Once again, the TBR prompt jar will be deciding what I read. I will be pulling five prompts out of the jar and then I will be selecting books based on those prompts that I will use to guide my reading throughout the month. So, let's get into it. I'm filming this with about a week left in the month. And I have not read a single book of that February TBR. So, um, here's to hoping that this one is more successful. I will admit February has been a rough month for me. But, fingers crossed, this TBR is more successful. So, I don't know why that keeps happening. But, let's go. I have three. Let's go with this one. Goodreads scroll. Okay. First thing we've got is a Goodreads scroll. Let's go with this one. Classic fantasy or sci fi. Okay. Another green one. Uh, all the letters of my first name in the title. All the letters of my first name in the title. Okay. Number four. Let's go with one of the lighter greens because we don't have that one. A pink cover a pink cover and then last but not least let's give it let's go with this one okay and then a 2024 release okay so we got to mix that we've got a 2024 release a book with a pink cover, um, scroll Goodreads, all the letters of my first name, and a classic fantasy or sci-fi. So I'm going to go and pick out these books and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have selected all the books that I can. Um, of course, we have the Goodreads scroll, so I cannot select that on my own. So let me scoot over to the side and let me pull up Goodreads so that we can figure out what I'm going to be reading. Okay, it has to be a book that I own physically and that I don't have slated for another video. Okay, so as soon as i open it something eight seconds ago and i this is not prompted but i just filmed the book call so i have the book next to me is bride by ali hazelwood so that was quick okay so my goodreads scroll pick is bride by ali hazelwood this is ali hazelwood's first paranormal uh romance book we follow our main character misery who is a vampire and she's the daughter of like a vampire leader and she is put into an arranged marriage with the alpha of the wolf pack and this is to uh kind of arrange some peace between their two you know societies and we follow their romance where i assume they fall in love so we've got that next up i don't own this one physically but it's a series that i've been reading and so for classic sci-fi or fantasy i'm choosing the war game by lois mcmaster bujold i started this series last week i read the first two books uh this past weekend and i'm currently reading the third book which is the warrior's apprentice and i'm reading in chronological order because there's multiple reading orders but it's number six in publication order number four and uh 
chronological order so i'm gonna i'm going in chronological order which is the order that the author recommends in the back of the books and so this one is the fourth book in the four cults again saga this book came out in 1991 this is a classic sci-fi series in this book so in particular won the hugo award um and we follow our main character miles for again as he goes on the series of adventures the first two books in this series you'll hear about in my wrap up but we have shards of honor and bariar and and those we follow his parents and so in this one it's starting with the warriors apprentice and continuing on to the board game we're following miles as he's like 17 18 he's setting out on the series of adventures because he wasn't able to make it into the military because of his health condition he has like bones that are essentially like made of glass and very breakable and so we're going on with him on a quest I don't know I'm only 30% into the warrior apprentice which is the third book and the first book where we're following miles so I don't really know where we're gonna go in this one but I have really been enjoying this series and so I'm excited to continue on so um next up we have all the letters of my name and the title and I have chosen his majesty's dragon by Naomi Novik so we've got the A in Majesty, the A in Dragon, the R in Dragon, and then O N. So Aaron, that's my first name. So this is the first book in the Temerary series. And in this one, we follow our main character, Will Lawrence, who is a Navy man. And this is like the Napoleonic Wars, but with dragons. So we follow our main character, who is a Navy man, and they are sieging this ship or you know boarding this ship and they come into contact with a dragon egg uh and this is like a chinese ship it's a chinese dragon and the dragon bonds with lawrence and is the story of like their bond and their relationship and like the dynamics they have to navigate because um you know after this this forming of this bond between the two of them lawrence is like lifted up in society and uh both he and his dragon temerary have to learn about like dragon and dragon rider culture and the differences between like the british dragons and uh temerary being a chinese dragon so i'm excited to read this i've had this on my tbr for years but recently i saw murphy from murphy napier talk about it and it really put it at the top of my tbr Next up, we have a book with a pink cover, and I have chosen one of my 24 books to read in 2024, and that is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Now, you might say, that, like, there's plenty of pink. Like, the spine is pink, the spine is pink, the edges are pink, the, like, outline of all of this is pink. It's, it's plenty pink. It's pink enough. So, this is the first book in the, I don't know the name of this series, but I, maybe it's just called the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I'm not sure but this one is the a companion series to the car of all series which I have not read but the first book is on my TBR and in this one we follow our main character Evangeline as she makes a deal with Jax who I think is the Prince of Hearts because our, the love of her life is about to get married and she wants to stop the wedding and so Jax agrees to make this happen if he would promise her three kisses to be doled out at the time of his choosing or with the person of his choosing and it is a story that follows the things that that result from that decision uh i know this series was recently concluded and uh i know it's pretty highly rated i know that the writing is pretty magical and whimsical so i'm really looking forward to reading this one and then last but not least we have a 2024 release and i have chosen a tempest of tea by hafsa faisal this one is a book where we're following a woman a girl who owns this like tea shop but it's like a masquerade for like a, a blood place for the vampires to come let's read the synopsis and, and get a firmer understanding on the streets of white roaring arthur casimir is a criminal mastermind and collector of secrets her prestigious tea room transforms into an illegal blood house by night catering to the vampires feared by society but when her establishment is threatened Arthi is forced to strike an unlikely deal with an alluring adversary to save it, and she can't do the job alone. Calling on some of the city's most skilled outcasts, Arthi hatches a plan to infiltrate the sinister, glittering vampire society known as the Ethereum. But not everyone in her ragtag crew is on her side, and as the truth behind the heist unfolds, Arthi finds herself in the midst of a conspiracy that would threaten the world as she knows it. So... And this is the first book in a fantasy duology teaming with romance and revenge so i'm really looking forward to reading that so we have my official tbr and then we have two more books that i have to read as part of my obligations so the first is my patreon read so we have a, a bi-monthly book to read so i'm going to read that book in april but we are starting a read-along this month our spring read-along we're going to be reading the winnow Win flame trilogy by jen williams and the first book is the ninth rain so i'm really excited to read this i have had this on my tbr for years i've heard 
great things about it and Elliot Brooks is really the person who brought this I feel like to booktube's attention uh and this is a series where we follow this these group of people who they're not like vampires but they are kind of vampire s and they eat or drink from this tree of life and something has happened and this tree is dying and the sap no longer like sustains them so they have to start drinking human blood but the human blood while it sustains them it does make them sick and they die off and every age um these these eborn people are very long-lived and every age they come this like alien race or this some this entity that comes and attacks and the only people who know how to stop it are the eborns but they are dying off so the city of Ebora once glittered with gold, now its streets are staked, stalked by wolves. Tormelin, the Oathless, has no taste for waiting to die while the realm of his ancestors falls to pieces. Talk about a guilt trip. When eccentric explorer Lady Vincenza Vintage de Grazon offers him employment, he sees a way out. Even when they are joined by a fugitive witch with a tendency to set things on fire, the prospect of facing down monsters and retrieving artifacts is preferable to the domination left behind. But not everyone is willing to let the empire collapse, and the adventurers are soon drawn into a tangled conspiracy of magic and war. The Jurelia are coming, and the ninth rank must fall. Very excited about this. And then, as you know, I'm a part of Catch Up Book Club, which is a book club, uh, you know, founded by Becca from Becca in the Books. And we are working our way through the First Thought Universe by Joe Abercrombie. And so in the month of March, we're going to be discussing Sharp Ends, which is a short story collection that takes place between the first trilogy and the last trilogy. Um, and we have a series of stories that take that take place throughout the years. The earliest one is Spring 566 and the latest one is spring 590 so excited to read this i've been getting into short stories more recently so looking forward to reading this one so yeah those are the books that i'm going to be reading in the month of march uh i know also that realmathon is happening this month i'm not sure if i'll be participating but the great thing about realmathon is that i can read whatever and i can get points based on whatever books that i'm reading uh so yeah if you made it to the end of this video let's leave a knife emoji for sharp ends and i'll see you in my next one goodbye